What's going on guys? For Complex News, I'm Speedy Mormon. The Warriors are still riding the high of sweeping the Cavs and winning their third title in just four years, but the rest of the league has shifted its focus to this offseason. The other 29 teams that are not the Golden State Warriors are scratching their heads and trying to figure out how to compete with this modern dynasty. June 29th is the final day for players to exercise or decline their contract options, and June 30th is the final day teams can extend qualifying offers to restricted free agents. Things will get really fun on July 1st, First, when the 2018-19 season officially kicks off. At that point, free agents can start verbally agreeing to deals with teams, though some players probably already have arrangements in place. On July 6th, teams can officially sign players and trades can be confirmed. With what's sure to be a thrilling offseason approaching, here are a few key narratives to follow. We've got to start with King James. LeBron could opt into his contract with the Cavs on June 29th, or as expected, he could opt out. Right now, the Lakers as his likeliest squad for next season. The Cavs are in second, followed by the Celtics and Sixers. The Rockets want him too, and they reportedly haven't given up, even though it seems like a long shot. Whatever decision he makes, you can bet it will rock the league, and some expect LeBron to announce his decision before the 4th of July. Fans are also glued to Kawhi Leonard's every move. Ever since Kawhi allegedly made it clear he wants to trade out of San Antonio, the rumors have not stopped swirling. His camp reportedly wants him to land in Los Angeles, but the Spurs don't want to send him off to a Western Conference competitor, especially the Lakers. Expect to see Kawhi end up in a new uniform next season, and if he's not in LA, he could end up with Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid, and the emerging Sixers. Also, don't count the Celtics, as they reportedly made an offer for the star player. The next big name free agent to watch is Paul George. PG-13 has reportedly opted out of his contract with the Oklahoma City Thunder, though there's still a possibility he returns for one more go round with Russell Westbrook and Carmelo Anthony. If he doesn't, everyone expects he'll sign with the Lakers. The Lakers have tons of cap room and young assets after strategically planning over the past two seasons, so they're at the center of everything in the NBA world right now. There are a bunch of other star free agents to watch too. DeMarcus Cousins, who tore his Achilles this season and is now an unrestricted free agent, could be on the move. It would be shocking if Chris Paul and the Rockets couldn't work out a deal, but there have been rumors of tension between the two parties in those negotiations, so don't sleep on that situation. Also, DeAndre Jordan, whom the Clippers tried to ship off at the trade deadline, may also be headed to a new city. And those potential transactions are just scratching the surface. There are plenty of less heralded but still important free agents who could also be on the move, like JJ Redick, Julius Randle, Trevor Ariza, and Aaron Gordon. But do you think LeBron and Paul George are headed to the Lake Show? And where will Kawhi play next season? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. For more on the 2018 NBA free agency, keep it locked right here to Complex on YouTube. And as always, for Complex News, I'm Speedy Mormon.